everybody and it's Neep Show and today I'm going to show you a really good um, modification of a deck uh, made by Jason. He's the recent uh, tournament, uh, the Finland tournament winner. So, um, so this is how his deck looks like. Um, but this is what well, the deck which I made is for a little lower levels. So I, I, while playing with this deck in Arena 6 and 5, I found out that the Hog Rider was not really required. So I uh, replaced it with um, Goblins, as that, that would be better for distracting, and it has quite decent attack. And the Pump was not required, we already have enough Elixir. So instead of that, I wanted some Splash, because in this deck you really don't get enough Splash. So the Wizard is there for Flash, same cost. And... Um, in this deck, we don't use the archers because we already have two um, air attackers. We've already bought in the wizard. So I wanted some more um, splash. So I need I need the fireball for it because the giant, it just dies really fast when people use splash. Splash attackers, um, just um, not splash attackers, um, hordes. So this is 3.9. Uh, the original Jason's deck was 4.0. Um, it's cheaper, so today I'm going to show you two replays because I think the last video was a little um, long. Um, so I, I think video should be around eight minutes maxed. So today the first uh, review I'm going to uh, uh, replay I'm going to show you is what I played against a guy called Stronghold. So look at his cards. This was Arena Five. I recently went on a huge losing streak. I don't know why. Um, so I had to get back to Builder's Workshop. So. Um, uh, we we were playing against a guy called Stronghold, and he had three musketeers, guys. He had three musketeers. He had the golem, he had the giant skeleton, and uh, let's look at his profile. He has the same deck. It's 5.3 elixir. Um, no one uses such expensive decks. So let's see how this um, one went. I only got 29 trophies. That shows how low he was on level, um, on arena, actually. So, um, it was a quite good startup deck. When you have such a startup deck, you always want to start with a giant. Because it's a good tank and it's only 5 elixir compared to the other tanks in the game. And this is not how you start. You're not supposed to start with the golem. Um, but one advantage of that is if your opponent cannot counter it well, it's going to be amazing. But I had the minion horde as well as the goblin, so I just took it down really quickly. And you see here, I have a full health giant. And... And then here I just fireball. It's really simple. You can really counter anything that comes your way. Um, I fireball. This attack doesn't go too well. Um, but uh, he comes up with the hog. I never expected that. And he actually gets so many shots. He has those barbarians too. And at this point I'm like, okay, this guy plays amazing. I'm going to lose the game. But this, this is 292 on my tower. So I thought I was going to lose this game. But what he was doing was he was wasting all of his elixir. And here he goes to the other tower, wasting even more. And here I made a mistake, obviously. I dropped the wizard. I don't know why I did that. Uh, the, the prince got the charge, and it actually went to the tower and took out a lot. Um, even we got a decent amount of damage. But here, if you look at both the hit points, uh, I said, wow, because that was crazy. Really crazy. And it looks like I'm down elixir again. I don't know how. I defended okay. The wizard placement was bad, I know. But he's not that much of a smart player. He just waits for how much ele how much ever elixir he needs for the troop, and he drops it. He doesn't wait till it becomes 10. That's his problem. Like, if I convert a defense into an attack, he's not going to be able to defend too well. Like here. I um, mean, he doesn't have arrows in his deck, and he doesn't use the three musketeers, because he never gets a chance to do that. I always keep dropping troops, and I always keep getting 10 elixir, but he doesn't do that. And here, I don't let this prince get into a charge to stop the barbarians quickly. Uh, you want to couple the barbarians either with spear goblins or um, you want to put a giant behind it so that the barbarians act as a wall. Um, this this giant just goes past everything. It's so hard to defend um, when you have lots of troops behind it. So there goes his tower. Uh, he does not have enough elixir. That's the problem. And here, uh, I've, I'm still pretty much losing. I've got a tower, but he's reduced one tower to 80 and one more tower to 1384. So he's looking actually in a winning position. He just needs to fireball this, but he doesn't have enough troops for that. And that is weird. Um, he gets the hog here. I shouldn't have defended for that, but 
Yeah, just let him. I don't know why I fireballed that either. And from this side, I go with the giant brush. And this is called a comeback, guys. You need to come back like this. Uh, right now, it's equal. And look at the damage on the tower. He just couldn't defend. And here, I couldn't stop the um, uh, prince from um, charging. But there we go. We just destroyed everything with the minion horde. He couldn't really counter the minion horde at all. Um, he didn't have any direct deal uh, damage dealing troops. So some people think if you have direct damage, it's bad, but it's really good and it helps. So you saw how you can come back with this deck. So let's just watch another replay. Or should we go into a live battle? Yeah, let's just get into a live battle. Uh, I don't have any chests open. Um, hey, how about we just open this? Yeah, we just gem this chest. Um, 144. Gold, some two arrows, three fire spirits, okay, 15 knights, that's quite good. And, oh my god, I don't even use that card. Okay, let's just start opening the silver chest, get ready, look at our deck again, and get into a live battle. And let's just hope that I don't lose. Um, I've never lost till now, it's six wins in a row, let's just say good luck. Okay, okay, starting deck. I'm going to start off with the barbarians on the right side. And see what he does after that. So he says good luck. And I'll be like thanks. Um, get ready for my barbarians. So here I'm going to drop my wizard after. Oh, so he's got that going. That's not a problem for me. I'm going to let him charge. Um, drop it over here. I think the wizard will take care of that on the other side. Wizard has taken care of it. And this is a profit for us. We've got two barbarians on the tower. That's one barbarian. But look at the damage it does. It does a lot of damage, the Barbarian. If you get a full health Barbarian on the tower, it is really amazing. So look at that. So here, exactly, we know, we know what to do, whatever he counters. So there we go. We just destroyed those Barbarians. We have one Elixir lead now. I'm going to push with the Giant now. That's how you do when you don't have the Giant in the beginning. Go Barbarians. And whatever he does, I know most of his deck, it's Minion Horde. I have arrows still for it, even if he has cycled back for his minion horde. So there goes his, uh, um, thing. Let's just counter it with this. This is the best counter. And some more goblins because we have to counter two. Two troops. Okay, so he's not caring about that. That's weird. Um, so we dropped the wizard. <laughs> wow, the wizard does amazing with this. Um, we got the tower, guys. He left the game. That's called rage quit. That is called the rage quit. Oh my god, this is so awesome. Let's go for the three crown. Come on. Oh my god, I can't believe he rage quit. This is awesome. Um, this is how you... Oh, he rejoined the game. That is awesome, bro. Thanks, thanks. Good, good game, good game. Well played. He rage quit a bit, and then he left. So that was a great game. Um, we made him rage quit, and we are back in Arena 6, guys. That's so cool. And we got an Arena 6... Silver chest. So, uh, be back with the next video. Um, so, uh, the next video I think is going to be respawnables. And after that, I'll do some random game reviews. And maybe, um, just tell me in the comments if you want a hog deck. Or if you want, um, it, give, give me any troop. And I'll try to build a deck around it. And this was derived from the Jason deck. And that deck works really well in high arenas. It works amazing. And this deck can counter anything. Um, so, uh, thanks guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like.